Speaking of porn, the Playboy Mansion is haunted. Oh, Did, Tyler, never apologize. You never come late. You come right on time, baby. You never want to come early. Uh, no, we've literally just been talking about like porn and fucking movies and hand jobs. That's last, pretty much 20, the extent 25 of our, minutes. <laughs> the episode thus far. But the Porn Mansion is haunted. Did you know this? The Playboy Mansion? Yes. Yeah. What did I say? The Porn Mansion? The Porn Mansion. <laughs> See? You got me all jazzed up. The Playboy Mansion is haunted. According to Best Life Online, which is... I Best Life Online? What kind of... Shout out. Shout out Best Life Online. Live in your best life. Yes. The Girl Next Door star, Bridget... Was it Marquette? Mar- yeah. Marquette? No, Marquette. Says that the Play- Playboy Mansion is haunted. I always, uh, had, I always thought Kendra was the hot one. I don't... She ended up getting knocked up by like a football player or some shit. Oh, well, shocker. The she, former, just, she was just so b- <laughs> It was amazing. It was so hot. The former playmate revealed that she saw a ghost in her bedroom and had other spooky encounters. Are you sure that just wasn't naked Hugh Hefner? Because I'm pretty sure that guy count like oh. if on the census, he counted as a ghost for the last 10 years of his life. Did you see that man? Yes. You know how much you think he was just mainline in Viagra to f- those girls when he was dating them? There's no way his cock worked correctly. So, they had to be, I guarantee you, these Playboy bunnies were in the corner in the bathroom, like melting Viagra in a spoon and like just injecting it in, like in between like his heroin. toes and <laughs> like a meth addict. But Bridget was his, one of his ex girlfriends, you know, well, when he had, you know, multiple girlfriends. But she appeared on a recent podcast and shared that she believes the Playboy mansion is haunted. Uh, she talked about. That's a specific instance where she had a paranormal experience in the house. She also talked about being visited by Hefner's, by you in a uh, dream after his death. Okay, this is, let's stop right here. Okay, now, now I have a, I have a theory here because I just listened to, I don't know how, I know you don't listen to shout out again, bro, Ohio as often as I do or as regularly as I do. Right. But they just did an episode on, I believe it's like Sade Abba or Abe, Sada Abe is a Japanese thing. She was a geisha. Maybe this chick did what she did because she fell in love with her lover and then strangled him during sex and then cut off his dick and balls and then later fellated the uh, cut off penis and tried to insert it into herself. Maybe she had a Hugh Hefner donger. Which I don't understand. I, I was thinking about it. Was, we were like, we were listening to it work. I was like, how does that work? How do you try to insert a, a severed penis into yourself? And we came up with, it's easy. You freeze it. Cocksicle. You're welcome. This is uh, what you tune in for. These are the people. Little... These are the men you love to hear about or listen to. But, but seriously, I can't even say keep this with a straight face. You know, dreams are interesting. <laughs> when it comes to the paranormal world there are those i forget what, what a segue man <laughs> cocksicle frozen dick in your vagina dreams are interesting somebody has to keep this <laughs> on the rails somehow <laughs> Come but on. but i was listening to something <laughs> you all right there Dude, this guy, I gotta get a new chair or i gotta like well, i'm thinking we might i'm just gonna dip it in a vat of w we might have a plan we might have a plan recliners yeah, I think so. <gasps> I know where there's two. I'm down. I just don't know. They might be too big to say. We'll, we'll work on that. We'll see. I was looking into it because there's there's a certain like theater style is what we would really want to go These for. These are pretty big, but we'll see. Uh, but dreams. I I was listening to something or read something where, you know, people, um, it might have been on Facebook or something, somebody talking about it. If you see people in your dreams that you don't recognize, that's ghosts coming to see you. I've heard that. But here's the problem with that. We are, t- a lot of people, scientists will tell you, dreams are just us working out our sh-, you know, taking, decompressing as we sleep. Because we are taking in so much info that you don't realize you're taking in. Okay, sidebar. Go ahead. With this knowledge and this theor- theory, these theoretical thoughts. Yeah. Was Inception a horror movie? Was Inception a ghost movie? I don't know a good question very good question but like i was saying i don't we are taking in so much information our eyes are always taking in you know 
what we pay attention to throughout the day. Well, it's not just our eyes. Like we're literally, even our in senses. our sleep, we're always we're always digesting some type of stimuli. We cannot. Our brain filters out things as we're, oh yeah as we're going, and so there's a lot of things, and this is scientifically proven. So if you are having a dream about people that you don't know, you might have saw them during the day, and that is just your brain, you know, trying filtering everything out, rebooting or whatever. So it doesn't mean it's a ghost, but I do think there is something to the other realm and your you know s- sleep. Mm-hmm. When you're in that state, I think it's very possible. I don't know, but I don't think it's 100% if you see somebody you don't recognize. Right. It's a it's a ghost. And in her case, Hefner came to visit her. Of course you had a dream about a 95,000-year-old man you were blowing. Ugh. You're going to have that freaking dream. You think you just nutted baby powder? Just <laughs> But not surprise me. <clears throat> But so I think that's her. Every time they've hooked up, like she's got to be like, "Hey, April," or insert basic white girl Playboy bunny name. Will you come in here? Hef's about to finish. I need you to stand there with the defibrillator pads to hit him real quick, right when it happens, so he doesn't die inside me. Because apparently, saw this, heard this story too. It was like a hooker, or sorry, a sex worker, or an escort. She might have been an actual escort was banging this old man and he died and because of post-mortem stuff his penis like inflated with blood inside of her and she was stuck on top of him until the paramedics came and i don't know if they cut his dick off or what ouch she couldn't get off him she got wolfed because wolves do that i think I think there's several mammals where they like they have hook penises, so you like once they're in there, you can't get away. Well, then you know dog, that's a, that's f-ing evolution. You know, like dogs and stuff when they you know same thing happens with yeah, dogs. they're stuck together they're for like an hour, spraying down with cold water. That's what they you know, I always heard they did. I'll take your word for it. I don't make it a hobby of being around when dogs f- each other. I don't know. So, but this was not the only experience that uh, Bridget had. Uh, apparently, she saw a ghost in her room. At that room. was also Hugh. When she was hanging out with her sister. I wonder if that was her biological sister or her playmate sister. I was going to say, was her sister stuck under the bed or in the dryer, perhaps? Was a step bro around as well? well? Apparently, it was her biological. Her sister, a friend, and her new dog. Sounds like a party, what we were just talking about. Where was the peanut butter? I don't know. We were talking, having a glass of wine, and the TV was on. The 48-year-old said, she's that old now. She's my age. Yeah, I didn't think she was. That I mean, old. She was, yeah, because she's, yeah, she was in her thirties when they were on TV. And but basically, as they were, because she wasn't actively in the magazines by that time. Once you hit like twenty seven, they out. take you out of the magazines. Uh, Excuse me. As they were sitting there partying, drinking their wine, you know, playing with the peanut butter and the dog, uh, all of a sudden, out of the corner of her eye, she saw a woman standing in her closet. <clears throat> And then she looked away, and as always, she looked back. It was she was gone. See, and that makes me question. I feel like have you seen the Playboy Mansion at all, like uh, inside and out? I feel like I no. guarantee you they have secret passages. That would not surprise me. That would be uh, that was just some like spy made. <laughs> she got Wolf Gone Puck. That's a, that's a good one. Izzy's funny. <laughs> Every time I see the name Wolfgang Puck, all I can think of is like all the people when I was a kid and he got famous. Everybody's like, his name sounds like fuck. But do we take any or lend credibility to any playmate that has paranormal experience that, I mean. I mean, it's just as credible as as anybody else's, really. Think of all the drugs. That's not yourself. Think of all the drugs that pass through that, those veins of hers, probably. Ah, I don't know. Party drugs, maybe. I doubt it's anything hard. Probably, I mean, yeah, I'd imagine there's probably some coke and ecstasy. But I'd say that probably as bad as it got. I doubt there's f***ing Playboy Bunnies just shooting up heroin in the f***ing grotto. Would not surprise me, though. I don't know. I remember when Viva La Bam went there. Oh, boy. They let him in. They, they let, like, the whole group in. His f***ing uncle that's dead, Don Vito. Asking for trouble. I remember I saw he. They were like Don Vito from Beaver Bam. I was like, yeah, no shit. It didn't happen earlier. Like, no offense. I don't wish that on anybody. But like, did you see the f- man? 
You look like a walking sack of f***ing assholes. What does a walking sack of assholes look like? Don Vito from Viva La Bam. Okay.